Hello, my amazing Aries. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of October. It's a general overall. It will be about energy and about love. I am going to do your love reading and see what shows up for you, okay, guys? Bear with me a second to make sure that I have established that this reading is, um, is for your benefit and that the energies are cleared. I'm going to be bringing you some oracle cards today. To start your reading, I'm going to look at the background energy for you. Um, of course, you know, thank you for coming back, my subscribers, and thank you for being here. If you're new to my channel, you'll know that this is, I'm a little different from others, but I get to the, I get underneath <clears throat> things. This is what I do as, a, as an oracle. I see underneath things sometimes, and I'll bring that out into the light for you so you know what's coming up. I, I bring you the lightest of uh, energies that I possibly can. I also am Reiki, established at this time. I've been doing Reiki. Today, and so my loves, let's just use that good energy for your benefit. This is for your benefit. Sorry about the camera. Um, I'm going to use my Lenormand to lay out a, a storyline. What's going on with Aries now? What is it with Aries' love life right now? What is showing up in Aries' love life? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Thank you. I call in love, healing, light, wholeness, understanding. I speak peace unto you. I ask the divine to bless you with balance, with truth, with finances and abundance, with love, love in your love for yourself, love for others, and others to love you, to be kind to you. You deserve kindness right now, is what I hear. Aries, you deserve kindness. Remember I said that. Let's see what the cards I want to say to you, okay? Background energy is coming up as... Ooh. Ooh. I'll read it to you in one moment. Let me lay these out. Wow. Okay. I like these. A lot. I like these cards a great deal. Okay. What we have here, let me glance at it real quick, is... Uh, Let me do an intuitive read real quick. Some of you, I'm just going to give you what I get. Some of you have ended a relationship with someone that, or you're considering it. Um... This is usually being dis your your spirit guides are talking to you right now, and they're reminding you how beautiful you are. You stand out from the crowd, so beautiful. You're set in glass, like it, like like stained glass. Just beautiful people, and I think that you're being divinely protected. This is a uh, this here means serenity and calm. Um, Usually you have elderly people in your life, but this shows how far you've come. And ancestry, this is long-term relationships as well. So you've, you're established and grown into this beautiful flower. Okay, that's who you are. Don't forget that, no matter what. Okay, then we have this book and the number 10. And very often I associate that. This is knowledge, this is knowing, this is secrets. This is uh, studying, learning a new skill, learning how to do something a better way. Um, these are unknown truths. There are things you don't know. All right? It's basically what this is. I also see that as uh, endings because it's a 10 here. Someone is really, really learning something or they're ending something. This is transition. Maybe this gets revealed to you, whatever this is, and you decide that you're going to change something in your life. This is death and transition. 
it could represent a Scorpio in your life. But is your eighth house, wherever your eighth house is, Aries, what would that be? Would that be Scorpio? If your son, if your if your son maybe. Okay. So I also see someone is standing in their power and they're holding their dignity up high. They're waiting. They're very romantic energy. She's very romantic. She's the divine feminine. What is she doing? She's contemplating this change she needs to make. Why does she need to make the change? Because now she knows what's been hidden from her. It's been revealed to her by either family, the Holy Spirit, someone on the other side. Uh, some, some divine energy and secrets have been revealed to her. So now you guys are in this place where you have some, something has come up and enlightened you about love. And you have opened up your heart space because of this knowledge. You have ascended. This is ascended. Um, ascended energy. This is the key that has opened up a, a caged up heart. Which has been in lockdown. This is eight. Eight. It's been in lockdown. Some of you have opened up your heart. You might have actually found love. Um, that's kind of the impression I'm getting. All right. Um, I'm going to use the Witch's Tarot to clarify these for you and to look at your love life. So tell me about Aries. Aries love life right now for, the, for October 2019. What is showing up in the energies of Aries? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If I haven't told you I love you, I love you. <laughs> I have to tell you I love you because I do. All right, my dears. Here we go. Precious Aries. Here we go. What is this um, energy here with the family or the ancestry or the knowledge or the spiritual guidance and the peace and calm? Peace and calm because somebody has stopped giving you grief. You have the answers that you need. This is a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This could also represent someone watching you, spying you, searching out details, um, telling other people's business. It could very well be that someone has stopped worrying about what other people think. How about that for a message? All right, let's see what I'm going to clarify with my crystal visions. Clarify this, please, for me. For this page of swords and the peace of mind. Peace of mind means put down the sword, stop worrying about what people think, tell your truth, be yourself, be your full self, be in love. Uh, two came out. I'm not going to take those. Okay, one moment, please. They just didn't seem right. Okay, Aries, what do we have for you? One moment. What is this? Clarify. The sun in reverse. Okay, so that means that somebody's cut out a Leo out of their life, or they're tired of working with the Leo. The sun is still the sun. It's still vibrant, but this is Leo energy, and it looks like you're cutting out a Leo, okay? Clarify that. And uh, because they didn't tell you everything, see, that's the problem. Leo wasn't able to tell you what you needed. It wasn't jiving, that's for sure. Something wasn't jiving. The moon could mean secrets or deception or fantasy or not telling the whole truth or hiding something from you. And you found out. Yep, you found out. And uh, in order for you to have a happy home, you are considering your home life and your marriage life. This is the Four of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It is really looking like somebody has cut the cords with a Leo that they were married to. Whoa, clarify one more, please. Eight of Cups. Not wanting to walk away. Your Leo doesn't want to leave, but they're not. Telling you everything, either. Clarify. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. So you know what that means? That tells me that somebody has separated themselves from someone they were living with, perhaps, or loving with, that gave them nothing but grief. 
And so that's what I see here, my loves, okay? Okay, let's take a look at this, this book of knowledge. Is this studying? Is this learning? Is this the book of a Akashic book of records? Is this a is this a writing writing books? Are you a writer, Aries? Do you write books? Do you write? Do you write? I mean, this could be somebody working with knowledge. So, what is this knowledge that Aries has come across in their love life? What is Aries, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus dealing with in their love life? Some of you may be dealing with a uh, water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Hey, this is, or you might just be in your great heart space. You're happy doing what you're doing. Whoever you're loving, this could be a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, though. Oh, that's nice. All right. Tell me about this transition, this... This nine, uh, this eight, transition C. This is Scorpio and death. The shadow box. This is also you, someone who's transcended past their shadow. They've come out into the open. They've come out. Maybe there's things you don't see and, and you're still looking. But you just keep writing your story. You keep writing your love story. You keep showing love because... You really need to show love. Um, you need to know what that is. She's sitting there going, well, I'm dignified and I'm strong and I'm beautiful. I don't understand why this person here is giving me grief. Death card, that's twice. Um, you have the death card twice in the middle of your reading. Somebody's ended something really big time. See, the Queen of Pentacles is the married person, the committed person, the dependable one, the kind one. She tells you great things. She, she balances you out. She brings finances in. She's loving. She's, a, she's together with you. But here, no. She's in reverse. All right, that might be what it is. It might be the end of a relationship or some kind of a connection with a, a earth sign. I don't know. It could also be a water sign. But I see you being very happy and, and uh, with whatever it is you're doing. At least if it is studying, writing, or anything of that nature. Tell me why we got the shadow box, the death card twice. End of a relationship with a water sign. Or a water sign comes in to change your situation and bring you love. They're offering you a real nice commitment. The most positive things I've seen here is peace and calm. Learning, educating, teaching. Change, transition. Altering of circumstances, killing something from within, maybe the lack of faith that you are lovable. But here we have this beautiful energy. Look, you guys. This is beautiful. I don't know who I'm speaking to uh, in, in the Aries community, but it's somebody. Um, let's see what is this divine feminine. What is her expression in love? What, who is this? What is her energy? could be you or it could be someone you're longing for. Page of Wands. She's still in a daydream state. This is someone in a daydream state, you guys. Um, she's daydreaming about this love offer that she got, but she hasn't actually gotten it, or she's not answered. Someone proposed, and you didn't answer yet. That's what I'm getting. Clarify that for me, please, this Page of Wands for Aries. Clarify this page of wands for Aries for October. Yeah, you're still single. Or an earth sign has, uh, or earth sign is in love with you, but they haven't told you yet. Uh, this is another earth sign, a different energy than this. This is fire. But this right here, loves, is uh, financial abundance, security, absolutely knowing. Having your ducks in a row, having money, knowing where your money's going, where it's coming in, where it's going out, and being secure by yourself. This is a single energy card. So you may still stay single for now, some of you, and not take that offer. Clarify that for me. Um, no, not that one. Let's go to this cage over here. I've got other cards I want to bring you to. All right. 
So, let's look at this open cage with the key. Who opened your heart? And by the way, number 33 is the Ascended Master card. This is someone who's gone through a heavy transition and came out with knowledge, insight, wisdom, freedom, an open heart, an understanding, patience, kindness. What was broken free in her their love lives, please? What is breaking free in their love lives? You're finally coming out of the... You're finally going to give yourself a chance and possibly... Four of Cups in Reverse is somebody who's still not sure about an offer. All right, clarify that, please. The four page, the Four of Cups in Reverse. Yeah, you're not so sure. I see a lot of you being single, okay? But you're getting offers. That's what I hear. Oh my God. You're definitely having memories. Look at this. Look at that. Remembering someone who was able to access your heart. This is someone you love. Someone from your past maybe coming back to off make you another offer. Um, because they know you are their soulmate. Someone that, it could be karmic too. I don't know. Clarify for me, please. Is this Six of Cups? Tell me about this Six of Cups. So let me tell you something right here now. Some of you, your real true love is a water sign. I'm sorry, but that's what I get. And it may not be true in some of your cases. Some of you may be with fire signs. Yes, this is a case. This is the case. The divine wants to give you abundance. They want you to know that money's coming in. You're going to be financially fruitfully abundant. In October, it's going to look better for you. Things are picking up. Just the energy of these right here. Things are definitely going to pick up for you. What a blessing. Okay, so I'm going to pull a couple of cards. I'd like to know a little more about this Queen of Cups. Is she the only love? Is this something they love or is this someone they love? Clarify that for me. Or someone in your life. Six of Wands. Water sign makes you happy. Whatever it is you're doing, you feel victorious and happy and justified. You're getting accolades. You're getting acknowledged. And you're being uplifted, Aries. Good. King of Wands. Passionate. This person's got it for you. Oh, my God. Or you're, you're very, very in your heavy space. Uh, energy, it's powerful energy. It's a blessing. You have courage, strength, or this person does. They make you strong. Let me put it through that way. This person under the, um, <clears throat> with this, this um, water sign offering the love. Tell me about that, please, Spirit. The Hierophant in reverse. Hmm. Well, this is the love offer. It could be from a peace offering. It's not a peace offering. It's a love. It's a, it's, I want to love on you. The Hierophant is Taurus. It represents um, um, it represents someone that's committed. It's religious beliefs. It's stability. It's the marriage card, it, the, the marrying card, the high priest. Um, this person may be making this offer. But I don't think the offer is about marriage. I don't think they want a long-term commitment. And that's why you know it. You're going to stay in your single state. Clarify the Hierophant for me before I pull some beautiful love cards for Aries to see what's showing up. Yeah, strength in reverse. Again, that's what this is. Okay, that's what this is. This love offer is the reconciliation, possibly, of a fire sign. They... Your advice, though, I'm going to get your advice from the Romance Angels. That's that's all I can do, my loves. Thank you for being here. If you like my readings, please, do, please be sure to tell me. Be sure to comment. Be sure to um, hit the like button, please. And if you do subscribe, be sure that you hit the notification bell 
so that you can uh, see what I put up. And I also have a Patreon you can join where I bring you wonderful readings. Very unique, very different. Uh, they're encouraging. You deserve love, honey. Yes, yes, yes. That's what they're saying. No, don't you ever forget that. No matter what lies, no matter what difficulties, no matter what anybody has put on you, that's not you. That's them, okay? The spirits are telling me to tell you you deserve love and free yourself. Hey, free yourself. You have abundance coming in. Yeah, you'll be thinking about the past. Yeah, you'll be remembering what made you feel like a kid. Yeah, you'll be, um, you'll be dealing with things. We all do. However, this is Aries, okay? I'm bringing you a sacred rebel oracle. I want to see what Alana Fairchild has for you. What is the message for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please, for the month of October 2019? Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, please, for the month of October 2019. Oh, my God, Jesus, look at here. The word wants to be written. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Number 42. Look at that. The word wants to be written. It came out on its own. I didn't even have to fight it. <laughs> That's cool, huh? All right, Aries, my beautifuls. Let's take a look at it, okay? See what the message is. Bear with me. I don't pull these out very much. There's a reason for it. The, the explanations are very, very long, and we don't have that much time. Let's see what she wants to say. Being yourself becomes easier when you give yourself permission to love, honor, and accept yourself in all circumstances, especially the ones where you might be more tempted to reject and judge. Give the sacred rebel within the opportunity to decide your values, irrespective of whether they meet with general social acceptance. See, not giving a shit what people think can be one of the healthiest things you ever did. It's helped me so much. I'm sorry to say it might make you a little, feel a little hard, but Aries, you don't have time for people's shit, okay? You, you need to love and be loved. Love and be loved. Can you see it, my dears, my darlings? Okay, so basically this is about some, something you need to do. Oh my God, it ties into this too. When you finished navigating childhood and started to let go of who you were, who you were taught to be, in order to become who you really are, you may have found your life path was not easily accessible. That is simply because your true and natural self was covered by layers of shame from the early conditioning that you had to be other than you are in order to win love and be acceptable. The natural self hasn't gone anywhere. It's still there within you. Now it's just about chipping away at the walls of shame, perhaps with a defiant. Who the hell cares? I'm here and I'm going to love myself anyway. This allows you to risk bearing the feeling of any shame that arises as you release old emotional wounds and break away from the restraints of unconditional self-love. The sacred rebel within can empower you to love yourself no matter what, simply because you want to. You might decide to de actually declare out loud, I'm still lovable, so put that in your pipe and smoke it. <laughs> That's really fun. That's really fun. Okay, what else are they saying? What you want to write, sing, dance, or become is you. It's natural. Drop your defenses. Get into the grit and confront the power that any old shaming has had over you. It's finished now. It's time for you to be naked with yourself. Acknowledge life and explore, explore it without restraint. It includes the flow of your feelings. The journey underneath the mind and into a sensual emotional connection with your feelings emotions and body 
is for a sacred purpose. A sacred purpose is what I get. Very sacred. Free. Look at this. It's talking about all this stuff. You deserve love for yourself. Oh my gosh. All right. Let me see. Can you see all these? Maybe not. Sorry, I have to do that. A lot of readers have to do that. It's just the way things are. So, be alive. Don't imagine you can go back to sleep. You're too awake for that now. There's no falling back into old ways. If you do so, it will be short-lived and you won't feel the same as you used to. You may grieve this. You will certainly eventually celebrate it. You may grieve this. This is grieving. The old shadow. Knocking off that shit off of you. I'm beginning to see something here too. This could be family. Someone in the family. And all that stuff. Right? Because this is this is pa ancestors, parents, and elders as well. As calm and peace. So there's two. There's double, double message there. Um, you've crossed this threshold from an old way of being in an old life. And try as you might, you cannot return. It's better to let it go. Grieve. If needs be, celebrate if needs be, or do both. Move on from this moment. There's another adventure waiting you now. You need a deeper connection to your own instincts, body, feelings, and intuitions so that you can receive this new calling. You can trust in it too. Embrace it, and it will embrace you. Interesting. I hadn't been using those cards because they're very, they're like three page explanations. I'm just going to cut to the chase. Aries needed to hear this. I love you, Aries. I hope you're doing well. You're doing well with your transition. May you be blessed. May you be healthy. May you love yourself. May you just not give a shit what anybody else thinks. It is probably the, unless it's your living. So you have to be yourself, even in your, all of you. Just be all of you. You're amazing. I'm bringing out the, um, bringing you an Isis Oracle Guidance so we can take a look at what advice is given to you, please. Thank you, spirits and energies. Thank you, universal energies. This is an Aries reading. I do not know which Aries are going to benefit from it. Uh, I do hope that if you're here, you're probably meant to be here anyway. So I want you to know that you're very, very important. Isis says, Pyramid of Light. Psychic protection. Hmm. As a being of light, darker energies may at times seek to interfere with your spiritual progress. I'd fucking say so. Look at that shit. Oh, my God. There's nothing to fear and only more awareness of the power and protection of divine love to experience. The pyramid of light confirms that energies have been causing interference with your path. Now it's time for that interference to cease completely through loving divine power. Yes, yes, yes. You deserve to be loved. Yep, free yourself of all that crap. I don't know who I was reading this for, but I know it's for you beloved Aries. So beautifuls, bless you. I love you. Namaste. Take good care.